Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, yes, I'm still alive. Uh, I just haven't done any uh, videos on my channel for a, quite a while, as you've probably noticed. Uh, but today I'm uh, going to do, you know, a qu fairly quick review um, on the network or the WWE network, shall I say? Uh, sorry, that was my finger just going past there. Um, as you can see, I've got it on my PS4. Uh, this is the only um, thing I actually have the network on. I don't have it on my mobile phone or Xbox One or, you know, iPad or anything like that. So, um, it's very quick to start as well, guys. You know, if I just click start within, you know, five seconds, I can literally go into the footage lot there within five seconds. Um, and there's quite a lot of things as well, guys, going on on the uh, network. I'm very surprised. Um, I've had this network for about six weeks and you know pretty much every pay-per-view from bragging rights to uh, capital punishment obviously you've got Royal Rumbles on there uh, WrestleManias obviously um, and then you've got obviously all the ECW pay-per-views um, I haven't really watched any ECW on it, guys. I haven't really seen much uh, WCW stuff either, guys. I mean, you've got Bash at the Beach. Uh, you've got Starcade, Halloween Havoc. You know, they're all the pay-per-views. And then, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm taking a bit of time to uh, get into these things. Uh, then, obviously, you've got all the old, like, Raw, Smackdowns. NXT which I haven't actually touched yet so you know I want to but obviously <laughs> as you can tell the library is very vast as well guys Any pretty much anything you can think of um, is going to be on on here somewhere um, there's a few things that I've noticed as well guys that uh, especially with that like episodes of Raw and Smackdown um, not every single in fact I'm going to show you guys not all of them are actually uh, on. Uh, if so, if I go to select year, come on, as you can sort of tell, come on, focus. It's got obviously all the years you can select a year, but then it goes from 99 to 2001. You know, where's 2000? That's my only sort of bugbear. That I've got as well at the minute. Um, it's not too major. I mean, I can I can deal with that. But uh, another th annoying thing is as well, as you can have just seen there. If I go back to it, is the fact that on 1999 you've only got one episode. Uh, I'm not sure. Have we got 99 in the Attitude Era? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's basically shut me up then. Um, Yes, I've noticed, like I said, I've noticed there's quite a few uh, episodes that are missing. And I'm not sure why. Um, I mean, it's like with 2001, I know there's only about four, yeah, there you go, three episodes. Um, I was actually talking to a guy at my work who's also a wrestling fan and obviously watches the current stuff now. And he sort of mentioned... Maybe it's because of what Chris Benoit did and obviously they don't really want to show footage that, you know, Kane, uh, Kane contains him in some sort of capacity, which, you know, I can understand with obviously what he'd done. Uh, I won't go into detail. Um, but, you know, I'm sure it, it's not that hard to kind of uh, edit it out maybe um, or maybe they're just adding uh, episodes you know later on um, but yeah that's the only sort of downsiding content that I've found at the minute oh god I don't even know what I'm doing um, but so far I am loving it guys um, like I said the, the content is vast I mean as you can see these aren't these are sort of like side programs I mean you've got Halls of Hall of Fame from WWE uh, WrestleMania the night before, pretty much every every year that they've done it. Um, I mean, you've got programs as well, as, such as uh, Legends House, which I've I've not seen yet, but I've heard I've heard good reviews about it, guys. So I might 
I actually start watching those at some point. Um, you know, things are as well as uh, tough enough where they train up um, sort of like wrestling hopefuls and, you know, train them up to be superstars, really. I've seen a few of those as well, guys. It's pretty good. Uh, recommend a watch. I haven't seen any of the latest ones. I've only seen the first two um, episodes. No, not two episodes. Two seasons, sorry. Um, and then you've got, you know, things like WCW Nitro as well. Uh, I've only seen a few of these. I've seen like the first two or three uh, Nitros ever. Um, so, yeah, so far it's, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it, guys. Um, like I said, the only downsides I've found so far are the fact that they haven't got every episode of every year of, say, Raw, if that makes sense. Um, so in specific years, they're only sort of like, say 1999, they're only picking up say two or three uh, episodes per year for like two or three years, all the other ones are fine. Um, another thing is as well, another little bugbear, this is only minor though, is um, sometimes it kind of crashes, it doesn't load, but like I said, the last sort of four, five, six weeks I've had this, it's only happened a few times, so that's kind of good. Um, so I'll quickly show how quick it is to actually like load up a a uh, episode or something. So if I quickly pick a random, no, in fact I'll do one of the raws from night three. So if I quickly pick a raw that I haven't seen yet, I'll show you how quick it is actually to uh, load it up. Obviously, I'm only going on what is on the uh, ooh, on the PS4, and it's uh, Hulk Hogan and uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I think he had an accident with his nose. I think he had to have his like no nose reconstructed. But if I quickly pick Watch Now, you watch it'll probably fail on me now. There you go. It's already starting up, guys. Uh, quick advert at the start, and then. Um, yeah, and then it starts, you know, within 10 seconds. Um, yeah, I best switch this off in case I get done by uh, some sort of, there you go, within sort of 20 seconds it's up, that's what she said. Anyway, I'm going to switch that off in case I get some sort of like marking against my channel and the telling off and a slap on the wrist because of copyright issues and all that crap. But um, yeah. If you're a wrestling fan, I recommend you get this, guys. It is, it's a stroke of genius from Vince McMahon, you know. Uh, for 10 quid a month, you know, £10 a month, you know, 2 50 a week, that is a bargain. You know, if you're a real big sort of wrestling fan, or even if you're just interested in wrestling, and you're not a major, major, massive fan, I recommend you getting this. Uh, you will not be disappointed. And like I said, they're adding things all the time. Plus as well, they're also uh, having live pay-per-view events every month as well. I mean, yes, I know over here in England you've got to be up at sort of 1, 2 o'clock in the morning to actually watch them. But if you think you're paying £20 on Sky Box Office to watch them, whereas here you can watch them for £10 a month at the, sa at the same time. I mean, it's just common sense. Why would you pay £20? to watch the pay-per-view at 2 in the morning where you can pay £10 a month you know half the price to watch it at exactly the same time but uh, yeah at the minute I'm giving this a good sort of 8, 9 times out of 10 uh, simply because uh, it's one or two little things that you know like they haven't got every single episode of Raw from 1999 for example but that's just my me being selfish because I want every single piece of footage anywhere you know out there whether it's from 1985 to 2005 whatever uh, but that's just me you know I'm just being selfish but um, yeah at the minute this is a massive thumbs up thanks for watching guys peace